Hey guys, it's Ian with TheInBlueMusic.com. Today we're going to be going over how to make a beat in Logic versus FL Studio in 2020. Well, for this video, we're going to be using FL Studio 20 and Logic 10.5. Um, they're both within the last couple months of being released with different updates. And this is November. Uh, mid-November 2020 to give you an idea on what updates I'm running. Um, so for this video, we're going to be going over the differences and mainly how Logic compares to FL Studio. I've used FL Studio for a long time, but I didn't really know how Logic worked. And as I'm getting into Logic, there's a lot of things I learned that I think a lot of other people will find helpful. And maybe if you're looking to switch uh, your workstation, switching to Logic might work for you. There's a lot of really cool things built in, specifically around beat making. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Not the instrumentation, even though there's tons of stuff with that, or cutting vocals. It's just around mainly uh, drums. Maybe we'll get into some 808 stuff as well. Okay, so let's just get right into it. I'm going to start off in FL Studio. I'm going to assume that most people watching this have used this before. And I apologize if you're using Logic and trying to switch to FL Studio, but I'm going to go over this very quickly. Okay, so um, this is how I would traditionally program drums in FL Studio. Uh, this is a very simple beat. Um, it is... Not my best work, but just something to give you an idea on how this works, okay? So you build out your couple patterns here. I've got my kick snare pattern and then my hi-hat pattern. You know, you route all your hi-hats to a channel. You route your snare and your kick to a channel, and you draw out those patterns so you can play them uh, in FL Studio, right? Then you can go through to the mixer, and you've got them all routed separately cause, so you can affect them differently because you're going to want to... You know, you, you like to put some sort of, you, you love Fruity Phaser, right? You put that on the hi-hats, and you love a lot of reverb on your snare or something. So you, you go to Fruity Convolver, and now you've got this uh, really sick beat here, right? And that's how you would make a beat, and then you add in some instrumentation around it. Or maybe you do the drums last, whatever your process is. But that's how it looks in FL Studio, okay? All right, now switching over to Logic, let's see how it is building a beat in here. So if I just open a new project, it's going to ask me what I want to do. Make sure you select Empty Channel Strip. That's the best way to uh, get to the Drum Machine Designer, which is what we're going to do. Okay. Now I create this thing. I go to Instrument and go to Drum Machine Designer. And then you get this 4x4 four four beat grid. Uh, pretty similar format to some of the other things. I think FPC is what it's called in uh, FL Studio. I'm not sure if they have a newer one, but anyway, you've probably seen something like this before. Let's go over to Splice. Let's grab a few uh, samples here. Let's grab a kick. Um, and you can just drag them in. You don't want to drag the samples right into Logic like you might be used to because then it just drags a sample and that's not what you want. It won't do the same sort of pattern selector. We're going to get to that pattern selector in just a second, the pattern kind of beat grid. Okay, so drag a couple samples. There's a snare, and it has little um, note assignments to what your kick and your snare should be if you're using a, a MIDI keyboard. Um, so it's all very convenient. And we'll grab a couple hats. Okay, you got this. And now we've got some samples. Let's build a beat. All right, you feel me? Let's do go to this editors button. You click editors, and it brings up a piano roll. And it used to be that you would record it into um, this piano roll, kind of like you can do in FL Studio. But they added a new step sequencer button. Look at that, just like FL Studio. You can change how long you want it. We'll make a pretty long beat, 64 steps. And you can select through there. So. This is going to be just like FL Studio. Uh, let's try it. I'm just going to cut, and we're going to have a beat made. All right, let's go. So we got a little bit of a beat made. Listen to this. You know what it is? We always bring in the heat. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, I'll add a bass line in there too, just like this.
All right, cool. Now, here is the really cool thing about Logic. If I just click this button, now this is all compressed into one drum track, but if I click this button, it all drops down into its own instrument tracks. So where before you'd have them routed to all sorts of different pieces of the mixer. If I pull up the mixer, you can actually see this too. Check this out. It's just this. There's the kit. There's uh, the bass. But I slide it open and I can see everything. And when I do that, I can add in all sorts of effects to each thing individually. So this makes it really clean because eventually at the end, you're just going to have this drum track, right? But you can go in. You can say, okay, that fast. Okay, I can tell you I want a verb on this guy here. So I'll go to my uh, space designer. And then I also want a similar reverb on my snare, but just those two. And there's a lot of different ways you can set up your verb. You have a verb channel, but I'm just showing you a quick, quick idea. Then I want a quick, uh, like a tremolo sort of like, sort of phaser, I guess, is what we want. Modulation, let's pull up a, let's do the phaser. And then a little bit of like a bass boost on that kick. Then you, then you close it down and it just looks like that. And it's super clean, right? And then you could build a beat and it's not super messy like it's in FL Studio. And you want that pattern, uh, you just stretch that bad boy out. And the patterns work a little bit differently. Like in FL Studio, you've got your each different pattern. You can just click anywhere. Um, it doesn't quite work the same in Logic. There's a couple different things, but I'm not really going to get into that. It's kind of something you'll just notice in your workflow. You can, you can loop it like this. You can, um, you can chop it too and uh, edit patterns individually. But uh, anyway, that should give you an idea on how it is to build a beat in Logic. If you have any questions, if there's anything I breezed past that you wish I had covered more in depth, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.